U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry will deliver a speech urging more action on climate change in Jakarta later today. Earlier, he visited the Istiqlal Mosque in the Indonesian capital as part of his two-day visit there. It is the latest stop in his tour around the region. In his speech, Mr. Kerry is expected to touch on the impact climate change will have on Asian cities and press Jakarta to step up efforts to combat it. Mr. Kerry arrived in Indonesia on Saturday after a visit to China, where both Beijing and Washington issued a joint statement pledging to do more to curb carbon dioxide output. He's also scheduled to meet with his Indonesian counterpart and the ASEAN Secretary General as part of his visit. And earlier I spoke with Dr. O. E. Sun from the S. Vajaratnam School of International Studies, and he explained to me why Mr. Kerry has chosen Jakarta to, de to deliver this climate change speech. Well, I think there's uh, increasing realization that uh, in addition to all this uh, industrial uh, pollution, uh, such as those by some of the major uh, developing countries, uh, increasingly also, for example, the cutting down of trees, the various burning uh, for agricultural purposes, that also is a major uh, source of uh, pollution, source of contamination, which ultimately leads to uh, climate change. So the choosing Indonesia to make such a speech would sort of set the center stage uh, for such a proposition. Well, I also asked Dr. O what Washington is hoping to achieve for Mr. Kerry's visit to Jakarta. Well, I think the U.S. Uh, still very much uh, look forward to uh, Indonesia playing a very proactive role uh, in both uh, ASEAN as well as the larger uh, Asian uh, picture. I Indonesia is a country blessed with uh, natural resources, and uh, it has traditionally to, uh, not playing uh, a very uh, proactive role in the international stage. I think the U.S. is looking forward to uh, Indonesia in particular, but also ASEAN to play a more uh, active role uh, in terms of, uh, for example, the economic as well as the strategic uh, roles in, in, in the world stage. We also spoke about what's likely to be on the agenda when Mr. Kerry meets with the ASEAN Secretary General Le Long Min in Jakarta later. I think at least uh, for, uh, two items. Uh, number one would be uh, the economic cooperation uh, between uh, ASEAN uh, and the United States. ASEAN uh, being going into uh, ASEAN economic community uh, by the end of next year, hopefully. And I, uh, even though I don't think it will be that fast in terms of uh, implementation, and also the, for example, the, the some of the rising tension in South China Sea, so regional strategic issues. I think this would be of the top two. Uh, uh, items in the agenda. And finally, Dr. Owens, is, is the ASEAN grouping is still one of Washington's priorities? Oh, definitely, especially uh, as the United States uh, uh, sort of uh, withdrawing from uh, some of the, uh, for example, uh, Middle East and uh, various other hotspots around the world. I think the U.S. increasingly uh, looks upon ASEAN as, uh, number one, a very stable uh, region uh, in, in terms of uh, economic uh, development, in terms of uh, political uh, ramifications, uh, and, and it looks forward to, for ASEAN to play a more active role in terms of, uh, well, I wouldn't say resuscitating the world economy, but certainly uh, helping to do so, and number two, hopefully playing a more proactive role in terms of regional stability.